Hello, it's Liz Bronson with LizBronson.com. Are you getting tired of listening to the words recession and hearing all the bad news on, on the news and on the radio and just negative talk about where the economy is going? Well, I think I have a solution to the recession plan, <laughs> the, the idea that we're heading to in a recession or we're living in a recession. And that has to do with the way you think, the words you speak, and what you do. If you keep walking around thinking that the glass is half empty, that the pie is half gone, that your job could be lost any day now, then those are very possible realities for you. But if you walk around having prosperous thoughts and thinking about new ways that you can bring income into your life besides the, the nine to five job that you have, um, and your focus is on that rather than on lack. This is a downside of videoing in a park, there's cars coming by. If you don't focus on lack, lack isn't going to be drawn to you. And if you don't speak lack, people that, that want to discuss that will start to avoid you. You may lose some of your friends because they don't understand what's happening with you because all they see going on is negativity. And if you're not speaking that negativity and you're not inviting that into your life, you may be pushing them away because that's what they want to speak about. But if you take time to think about the people that do focus on those things, what do they have in their lives? A lot of lack. And the third thing is what you're doing. If you were in a nine to five job or, or, or you know, a typical 40 hour a week job, whether it's nine to five or a night shift, whatever it is, and you know that in the economy the way it is, um, you could possibly lose your job that you've seen uh, other people getting laid off or maybe you've heard other people talking about possible layoffs or whatever. What you do in that situation is going to shape your future. So before that strikes, what you can do is start determining where you can bring in other forms of income into your life. Don't lose the nine to five job. Don't leave the 40 hour a week job if that's paying the bills and keeping the roof over your head. But in the meantime, in your spare time, start building up something on the side. And a lot of people that I hang with and talk with have multiple streams of income because they've started doing marketing online and they may be affiliates for a variety of products and products that they use, they recommend to other people. And maybe they make 10 or 15 or $20 on a referral. But if you multiply that by hundreds of people over time, that's constant income that's coming in. And if you're doing that on a part-time basis, that's income that's coming in in addition to your full-time job. If you do lose a job, if you do get downsized and you have that kind of income coming in, at least you're not left with nothing. So rather than spending time talking about the economy and worrying about who to blame it on, why not start thinking of ways to um, take it into your own, own hands? And with network marketing the way it is today, it's very exciting because using internet, using um, emails, autoresponders, YouTube, you're, you're reaching so many people. So one video can reach thousands of people. So you're not spending hours and hours and hours. You're spending 10 or 15 minutes making a video and putting it up. And so many people are able to see your video and see what you're talking about and learn from you. And thus get brought into your group of people. So it is something that can very easily be done as a part-time venture to start. And you may find over time that it's something that you want to do full-time. But in the meantime, that's my idea of how to avoid falling prey to this idea of recession. Don't talk about it. Don't focus on it. If it means staying away from the news, stay away from it. Avoid that negativity and start picking up books that 
discuss prosperity, start discussing prosperity with people, and you might feel awkward to begin with, but you'd be surprised how many people have this stuff floating around in the back of their heads and they're just waiting for somebody to click with and have that moment where they say, oh, you're into that too? And there are a lot of people out there that are, that are really looking for an answer. If you go into any bookstore, you can see shelves and sh shelves full of self-help books and prosperity thinking books and, uh, you know, most people want an answer that they can take into their own hands and create a better way for themselves. So um, that's my suggestion for today. Just uh, stay away from the negativity and start planning for a positive future. And it will be yours as long as you stay on track with that. Take care and I'll see you next time.